Hello and welcome to Next Week in Destiny. First up, we have our featured Nightfall for the week commencing October 25th, 2022, which will be the Disgraced over on the Cosmodrome. Legend and Lower Nightfalls will have 8 Barrier Champions and 3 Unstoppables, with 23 Arc Shields, 6 Solar and 2 Void. Master and GMs will have 16 Barrier Champions and 3 Unstoppables, with 21 Arc Shields and 6 Solars, no Voids in those ones. And your Grandmaster modifiers will be Barrier and Unstoppable Champions, Fire Pit, so when defeated Acolytes spawn Fireballs that can cause damage over time, Chafe, which is your radar is disabled, Grandmaster modifiers, which is Contest, Join in Progress disabled, Lock Loadouts, Match Game and Extra Shields. So Match Game is enemy shields are highly resistant to all unmatched elemental damage, and they are Arc and Solar Shields, which there will be Knights and Wizards with those. Equipment will be locked, so you will not be able to change your equipment after this activity starts. Extinguish, if your fire team falls in a restricted zone, everyone is returned to orbit. You have limited revives, and you gain additional revives by defeating champions, up to a maximum of 20 revives, until the time runs out, which is about 30 minutes. And then champion mobs, this mode contains additional champions. And then finally, Novotas Abandon. Incoming arc and environmental damage is increased by 50%, but you do get a 25 bonus arc damage dealt to enemies if you're using anything arc, including weapons and abilities. The power requirement this season to enter the gems is 1595 light, which is what your power will be capped at, and the enemy's power will be 1620. Your anti-champion artifact mods for this week are Anti-Barrier Scout and Auto Rifle for 1 energy and Snipers for 6. Unstoppables are Pulse for 1 energy and Shotguns for 3. Also available are exotic weapons and armour that can help with intrinsic mods as well. So for Anti-Barrier we have the Kinetic Bow, Wish Ender, the Kinetic Linear Fusion Rifle, Arbalest, the Solar Energy Hand Cannon, Ariana's Vow, the Solar Heavy Sword, The Lament, and then the Titans with their exotic gauntlet Second Chance, which gain a second charge of your Shield Throw Melee, which becomes Shield Piercing and Stuns Barrier Champions. And then for Unstoppables, we have the Kinetic Fusion Rifle, Bastion, the Kinetic Hand Cannon, Malfeasance, the Solar Energy Sidearm, Devil's Ruin, the Void Heavy Bow, Leviathan's Breath, and then the Hunters with their gauntlets, Athras Embrace, which have the chance to stun unstoppable champions with an empowered weighted knife. The featured weapon to obtain next week will be the Militia's Birthright, which is a kinetic lightweight frame grenade launcher, and can roll with blinding rounds, proximity grenades, swashbuckler, and autoloading holster, with an origin trait of stunning recovery, where if you stun a champion, you partially refill the magazine, it triggers health regen, and improves your recovery for a short duration. Also next week, Fest of the Lost continues for its second week of mischief, mayhem, and collecting spectral pages and donning masks. So if you haven't started already, you've still got plenty of time because it's only in its second week. And light them up when Team Scorch returns to the Crucible next week. Team Scorched is a 6v6 PvP mode where all players are wielding Scorch cannons. Equipped weapons and abilities cannot be used in this game mode. Movement abilities, e.g. lift, jump and glide, sprinting and emotes can be used. Players are forced to use a Scorch cannon which cannot be dropped. The Scorch cannon has 100 ammo which is replenished on respawn. Matches have a 7 minute timer. Players have a 3 second respawn timer. Kills give plus 1 point each. The first team to reach 60 points wins. If the timer runs out before the team reaches 50 points, the team with the largest score wins. The player's current and longest kill streak are shown at the top of the screen below the score. The pinnacle dungeon for next week will be the Pit of Heresy over on the moon. And your pinnacle raid will be the Vow of the Disciple over on the throne world. And with the Vow of the Disciple being up, you have a chance to farm for the Collective Obligation Exotic Void Pulse Rifle which will be available next week. Next up, challenges for week 10. So this is the final week of challenges for Season of Plunder. 
And if you have completed 75 out of your 78 available for this season, you can get a large pile of Bright Dust to spend at the Eververse store in-game. But our challenges for next week are 3 Buta 2, open Expedition bonus chests and chests from Master Catch Clash. Also, spend plundered Umbral Energy at the start arc to focus engrams throughout the season. They would like 15 treasure chests and 150 plunder umbral energy, and your rewards will be repute and challenge XP. Shaper 3 Level seasonal shaped weapons to level 20. Only two are required, but it is to level 20. That will give you repute and challenge XP. Thunderlight Defeat targets with arc or stasis supers. Combatants defeated in Catch Crash and Expedition and defeat Guardians will award bonus progress. 150 are required, but that will give you repute and challenge XP. EDZ activities. In the EDZ, earn progress by completing bounties, patrols, public events, and lost sectors. 18 of those are required, and that will give you challenge XP and some bright dust. Intended authority. Acquire the Vanguard ornament for the Crime Mutiny grenade launcher. And that will give you the Plane Strider ship, challenge XP, and some bright dust. On to our Eververse for the week of October 25th, 2022. Available this week for Bright Dust, we have the Hexing Shell Exotic Ghost for 2,850 Bright Dust. It was you, Rare Emote, for 400 Bright Dust. The Murder of Crows Legendary Transmat Effect for 450 Bright Dust. The Reanimated Verve Shader for 300 Bright Dust. The Boo Exotic Emote for 3,250 Bright Dust. Peaceful Rest Legendary Emote for 700 Bright Dust. The Haze Future Exotic Ghost Shell for 2,850 Bright Dust. The Desmondus Exotic Ship for 2,000 Bright Dust. The Spider Mask Ornament for 1,200 Bright Dust. The Worm Perilous Exotic Weapon Ornament for the Parasite Grenade Launcher for 1,250 Bright Dust. And the Howling Projection for your Ghost for 1,500 Bright Dust. And then finally, the Lost Sector rotation for next week. Hello! Hello. So for your Lost Sectors, you will find a flag outside your daily Lost Sector, giving you details of champions and burns that you'll find inside. And if you are new to the game, or you're on an alternate character, and you can't find the flag outside, just make sure that you've run through the Lost Sector normally to have it show up on your map as a Legend or Master 1 for that day. So let's get started. Tuesday, the 25th of October, will be the Scavenger's Den over on the EDZ, giving exotic arms. Wednesday, the 26th of October, will be the quarry over on the EDZ, giving out exotic chess pieces. Thursday, the 27th of October, will be the Excavation Site 12, again on the EDZ, giving out exotic helmets. Friday, the 28th of October, will be the Concealed Void over on Europa, giving out exotic legs. Saturday, the 29th of October, will be Bunker E15 over on Europa, giving out exotic arms. Sunday, the 30th of October, will be the Conflux over on Nessus, giving out exotic chess pieces. And then finally, back round to Monday, the 31st of October, will be the Rift on Nessus, giving out exotic helmets again. So there you go. That's it for your next week in Destiny, starting on the 25th of October, 2022. I'd just like to say a big thank you to kyberscorner.com for the Nightfall information, to Dane Destiny for the Eververse information, light.gg for the challenges, and Shack News for the Lost Sector rotation. You will find all the links in the description below. And if you like this, then come and listen to our weekly Destiny 2 podcast over at twotitansandahunter.com, where we have like 195 episodes to keep you entertained. Just saying. Anyway, thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.